I think what God was doing with Job, in Job chapter 40, 41, or chapter 38, 39, 40, and 41, God asked Job 84 consecutive questions. Job never answered one. In chapter 40, the Lord said, Behold now Behemoth, and we talked about that in video number two, how Behemoth was the Brachiosaurus, or the, what some people used to call the Brontosaurus. Uh, never was a Brontosaurus, but probably the long-necked dinosaur like that. We come to chapter 41. The Lord is still talking, giving Job his 84 questions. And the Lord said, Canst thou draw out Leviathan with a hook? Now what on earth is a Leviathan? Well, some reference Bibles say Leviathan might be a whirlpool or a whale. Some say it's a crocodile. I don't think it's any of those. I think Leviathan is probably Tyrannosaurus rex. Now, I don't know, I can't prove this, but I've read it many times and it seems to fit, and it may or may not be right, but I'm preaching tonight, so for tonight it's Tyrannosaurus rex. <clears throat> T-Rex is a pretty rare dinosaur. Only 22 have been found. <clears throat> the biggest one was about 24 feet tall. His head was a little smaller than a Volkswagen. His brain was about the size of a baseball. Apparently not too bright. I have a replica on the table down here of a T-Rex tooth. That's one of his teeth. Here's a replica of one of his toenails. You can call 1-800-FOSSILS, and the guy there will sell you the replicas. A replica of one of his little bitty two front fingernails, which means he had to be very careful when he picked his nose. <laughs> T-Rex was a pretty good sized dinosaur, probably weighed between 10 and 15 tons. Estimates range up even to 20 tons. Nobody knows for sure. All they find are the bones. But the Lord said to Job in chapter 41, Canst thou draw out Leviathan with a hook? Right. Who uses 10 or 15 10 ton test line when they go fishing? <laughs> of course you can't draw out Leviathan with a hook. God's asking Job these questions, and Job's not saying a word. Job never answered one of God's questions. Suppose you did. You're out here fishing, <clears throat> and you snag something heavy, and you pull and you pull, and up out of the water comes a 24 foot tall, Tyrannosaurus Rex. He comes walking over to your boat, <clears throat> and you notice he's got a hook in his lip and a string leading down to your pole. <laughs> he says, uh, <clears throat> hey, is this yours? <laughs> no, sir, Mr. T. I ain't never seen that hook before in my life. <laughs> That's my brother's hook. Of course you can't draw out Leviathan with a hook. Job doesn't even answer a question like that. So the Lord goes on and said, Canst thou put a hook into his nose, or bore his jaw through with a thorn? Will he make many supplications unto thee? Will he speak soft words unto thee? Do you think he'd beg for mercy from you, Job? Will he make a covenant with thee? Wilt thou take him for a servant forever? Hey, Job, why don't you train him to haul your wed wagon around the block? Nobody trains T-Rexes to do tricks. Right? Wilt thou play with him as with a bird? Perch. <laughs> right. All 15 tons. Boom. Or wilt thou bind him for thy maidens? There you go, Job. Tie him up and bring him home for your daughter to play with. You better have a lot of spare daughters. Shall the companions make a banquet of him? Have you ever been invited over to your neighbor's house for T-Rex steaks on the grill? <laughs> Probably not. Shall they part him among the merchants? You never see him for sale in the store. Canst thou fill his skin with barbed irons or his head with fish spears? Lay thine hand upon him, remember the battle, do no more. I think God is saying, Job, go ahead and grab him. That's the last thing you'll ever do. <laughs> go ahead, Job, grab him. Behold, the hope of him is in vain. Shall not one be cast down even at the sight of him? Just looking at him would scare you to death. How many saw Jurassic Park? Remember when the guy's sitting there on the commode and all of a sudden the roof explodes and rah, in comes the T-Rex? <laughs> Scary scene. Just looking at him would scare you to death. But then the Lord said in verse 10, None is so fierce that dare stir him up. Who then is able to stand before me? And there's the whole point of the passage right there, folks. God was setting Job up. God said, Job, you scared of this guy? Sure, Lord. He's big, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Would you mess with him? No, sir. God said, Job, are you afraid of me? Folks, I think that's the whole point of the passage. I think God was using this Leviathan to help Job understand he had lost his fear of God. We've got a lot of folks in America that have lost the fear of God. 
They fear their friends more than God. Question tonight. How big is your God? I mean, is he big enough to tell you what to do and you'll do it? Do you fear God or do you fear your friends? I think God is doing this to prepare Job really for Judgment Day. Someday we're going to stand before God. And it's not going to matter what your friends think. It's only going to matter what does God think. And this Leviathan that God was showing to Job was getting Job prepared to say, Hey, Job, you're afraid of him to stand before him? You'd be scared. Yes, sir, Lord. Hey, Job, you're going to stand before me one of these days. Folks, we're going to stand before God.